Hi, this is Faith McDonald. I direct the Religious Liberty Program at IRD, and this is the first time that I'm doing a video of my e-newsletter. If you're a regular, you'll know that it's called Faith on Freedom. So today's Faith on Freedom comes to you from me, and I just wanted to share some of what's been going on this year and to thank you for your support of the Religious Liberty Program. Um, this has been a banner year for South Sudan. In July, the, the Republic of South Sudan became the newest nation in the world. And uh, it's been very exciting to be part of that really since the time I came to IRD, working on Sudan pretty much from the beginning of my tenure here and seeing so many things take place, so many heartbreaking things, uh, the slavery in Sudan, the genocide that took place first in the south in the Nuba Mountains and then in Darfur, and then seeing things start to change for the south as the peace agreement was made in 2005. Um, but this has also been a year of real evil once again visited on the marginalized people of Sudan by their own government. This time the people in the Nuba Mountains and Blue Nile um, being attacked by Khartoum for wanting peace, freedom, and a secular democracy. Um, and if you've been listening to me over the months, you'll know that I think that the Arab Spring was a big failure. But Sudan could have an African Spring, or I guess now we'd say an African Winter, that would truly be uh, a time for freedom. Um, but Unfortunately, our government isn't seeing it that way. So um, I, along with a number of advocates called, who, who have started a group called Act for Sudan, and we're working on trying to pressure U.S. policy, wondering why we would uh, help to take down President Mubarak of Egypt, why we would allow Gaddafi to be killed the way he was, and yet not do anything about the biggest genocidaire in uh, recent history, Omar al-Bashir. So keep watching. We're going to be doing many more exciting things, advocacy-oriented uh, actions in 2012. But before I go, I also want to say, please keep the Christians of Nigeria in your prayers. I'm sure you saw something in the news about the bombings that took place on Christmas Day in church services and other areas around Nigeria by the Boko Haram group. If you only looked at the secular news, you might not get the full picture because they made it seem as if this was a, a new thing for Boko Haram to go against religious people. Um, it's That's a ridiculous statement and we know that Boko Haram along with other Islamists in Nigeria have been targeting Christians for years. So keep the Christians in your prayers. Uh, let's ask God to protect these people um, and let's make 2012 a year of real dedication to prayer for our brothers and sisters around the world who are persecuted for their faith. And I wish you a happy new year. Don't forget the IRD's Religious Liberty Program in any of the donations that you make.